Welcome to the latest installment of the Prefab Builder Alpha 7 version 0.64 tutorial. We're just going to have a look at the basic window at the moment. As you can see up here, we've got the Prefab's path, which I entered into the shortcut, and it's now in there. Here on the left hand side, we've got the number of blocks in our design window. At the moment it's populated with nothing, so we'll put in 10, 10 and 10, create, create a design matrix which is 10 blocks or 10 columns by 10 rows starting at one at the bottom here and the column, the rows go up and the columns go from the left to the right. Next on our left window in the left pane here we've got a block number and a sub block number they are just there for display here we've got our block name which has all 801 blocks that are in the um, Z menu in the creative menu in the game we have orientation 16 different orientations some of them some blocks have 16 orientations some blocks have four, some blocks have two, uh, i.e. doors only have two, down west and down north for, for doors. The thing to remember with doors is you need to add the lower door to layer number one um, and add the upper part of the door to layer number two in the same position. We also have a list box here for damage which is 0 to 15, 0 being no damage, 15 being maximum damage or one blow away from destruction. Now this 801 block list is very daunting so you could just type in if you only wanted to find something that has brick in the name then you could type in brick and go search and it repopulates this list with every block that has brick in its name. If you want to go back to the original uh, list you can either press right click in the build area and it will repopulate the list or you could just empty this and go search. It does the same thing. Now a ground build status, you either have above or below ground. Above ground preserves the air, sorry, does not preserve the air in above ground. So if you place your prefab into the side of a hill, then the dirt from the hill will actually encroach into the prefab. If you select below, then the air is preserved. So if you put it into the side of the hill, you can still walk to every corner that you would normally. Or if you put it underground, then you can still walk inside of it. If you save it with below, then next time it reads it in, it will read it in and set that to below for you. Our next pane on the left hand side is our layers pane. Uh, at the moment, it's selected block is one. If I left click, in the uh, box here it moves it to select a block number 11 which is indicative of the way the prefabs are built in the game you can also use WASD to move the cursor around or even just the cursor keys to move the cursor around um, it used to have a function where you press space and it would add it in but with the mouse buttons now um, we can left click to set a box with the settings that I've put here. Um, if I middle click, it comes up with a dialog box to say what was on there. And if I, I'll change this to a flagstone. So just to put in a different, a few different blocks. If I middle click, it comes up with flagstone. Um, if I right click on this block, it will change it to this block settings. Change this to back to brick. If I click on right click on here it changes it to flagstone. 
so I can add more flagstone add more brick made a mistake clicks the air right click back to put the brick seems pretty self explanatory the obviously we can go up a layer one layer at a time or down a layer or because I know there's 10 we can jump to layer number 10 which of course is empty the column and the row here is obviously states which where the where the uh, select box is so later on when we go through the menus you'll see that we've got a replace block if you click outside the boxes it will come up with an outside build area so you could use this to say I want to do from column 3 row 4 to column 8 row 7 um, etc etc so at this stage you can also up here we've got a 3D isometric view at, the, at this stage it's drawing from layer 1 to layer 10 I know layer layers 2 to 10 don't have any detail in them so I'm only going to set one I'll go 3D isometric view and it will draw 3D isometric view that is just one layer it looks like it's multiple layers but it's not it's the way the isometric is drawn um, in the next installment we'll go through the menu items thank you